All right, Dwayne. Uh, I'm Brandon Ashfelter with Home Team Sports TV. Um, we've got Dwayne Grantham, number three for uh, the Shepherd Rams, taking on Slippery Rock tomorrow at noon. Uh, how you feeling, man? Man, I'm excited. I'm very anxious. Yeah. You know, I want to go out there and play right now if I could, you know. Um, yeah. And I'm just, you know, I love the playoff atmosphere, uh, especially being at home. You know, it plays a big, big factor in these. You know, you got a lot of good teams going at it, so you never yeah. know. You know, it's a battle all the way down to the wire. So, like, to yeah. the quarter is zero. And that's the most thing I like, you know, referring back to high school, you know, all the blowout games and stuff like that. Yeah. Getting out at halftime really wasn't fun. But, you know, it gets to the playoffs and you're in college and stuff like that. It's everybody it's as good as you, you know. It's it's all a dog. Who's better than who, you know. So, I'm well, excited. Hey, man, like you said, uh, you know, going back to high school, you know, I got to see you grow up from the Browns to high school. So, you know, I'm proud of you and what you're doing. Um, you did great things on the high school level, but you're doing exceptional things at the college level, too. So, uh, you know, I've been a fan for a long time, still a fan and uh, definitely like watching you play. So i uh, got a couple questions that have come in from, you know, different people uh, with home team sports that we'll get into. Um, the first one is, uh, I know you're excited, man, but what is a challenge that Slippery Rock brings that maybe some of these other teams and, you know, you've played this year that they bring a little differently? Uh, Slippery Rock brings a lot of uh, dynamic uh, different backs, you know. that that That's one thing they do. Got uh, a lot of speed. They use a, a 5'10", 170-pound sophomore named Chris Dior. Uh, he's, they use him in a lot of speed packages out of the backfield. We'll motion them into the slot, you know. Uh, so they're very versatile back there. Then they got a yeah. big running back, uh, number 23. He's very downhill get at you run down and then they got another big bully back number 41 that i went to lackawanna with uh 235 61 that i get downhill too can move man like, you know your scouting yeah. report don't you, no. you so, it, yeah bro. they're very very yeah. versatile box wise and i think uh very uh offensively sound uh line wise they got uh their left their left side is a uh, first team all state so uh i think that's their strength running wise they like to run uh inside zone there they like to run split zone there and they like to run a uh, zone week so well, it's gonna be a big day for them linebackers man yeah definitely we got hey, but, uh, what gets you most excited about a game like this against slippery rock you know uh a lot of times it's it's just uh knowing knowing guys that I've played with on both sides of the ball, you know. So I think that makes it the most fun, you know, uh being able to play with both sides, you know, coming from uh Martinsburg and you know I got Tyson, you know, yeah. uh, Ty Lucas, Matt Bonarski, uh Christian Slack, them guys. And then you know, uh coming from Lackawanna, I got guys over there on that side too. So I think it it's fun because I'm on my home team side, you know, and uh yeah. on their home team side oh. and we're Basically, yes, battling it out in the playoffs. So, yeah. I think that's what makes it the most fun, man, just playing against guys that you know. Yeah. Well, hey, man, you brought it up. Uh, people want to know what it's like playing with, you know, your high school teammates and, you know, Tyson and Matt and Ty and Christian Slack. And I mean, you didn't get to play with Malachi Brown, but he's there as well, ex Martinsburg Bulldogs. So, what is like, what is that like playing with your high school teammates? And do you feel like that has anything to do with, you know, your success at the college level as well? Oh, yeah, I definitely think that played a big factor. You know, uh, it also played a big factor in my decision coming back home from Lackawanna, you know. Uh, you know, uh, it was like a family tradition at Martinsburg, and I know you went there, Brandon, so you being there, you should know, like, the – the love and stuff that they show. And I think that plays a big factor coming over here because, you know, uh, them guys really push me a lot in the off season and stuff like that to work. It's a different type of love, a different type of bond. You know, when we're on the field, we really push each other 10 times harder, you know, so yeah. that plays a big factor. So they really keep me going and, uh, you know, being with Tyson and, He's just a leader, so he always oh, yeah. he always showed me to lead by example. So you know he does that on the offensive side, and I I, I try to do that on the defensive side. Well, hey man, uh, you kind of answered a couple questions for me all right there, but um, one question I'd like to ask because you know outside of Tyson, you're you're essentially you know you're a hometown hero as well up there, Shepard. You got little kids that saw you play in high school, and now they're watching you at the collegiate level, so. What is it like essentially being, you know, a hometown hero? 
you know, uh, I just love West Virginia. You know, I love yeah. the atmosphere. I love the crowd. You know, um, one thing about West Virginia that's positive, if anything, in this this uh, region, county, whatever, yeah. you know what I'm saying, state. Uh, I just love the fans that they bring for football around here, man. They really yeah. like bring it. They really bring it. So it's just and and it's a pre- pleasure playing at home because you know you got a lot of people rooting for you. You know. You got a lot of hometown people that watch you grew up and from high school to little league, you know, yeah. all that. So it's like it's just just a pleasure. You know, they always been rooting for you since you was six, six years old playing even yeah. football. Well, see, and that that's something that is awesome for you is because you have a lot of your high school fans coming to watch you at the next level. And I know they love watching number three. I know you were number three in high school. Now you were number three now. So uh, you know, there's a lot of people that come just to, you know, watch you Martinsburg kids at Shepherd. So and you guys are a big reason why, you know, I, I love helping out home team sports for these Shepherd games because I really get to analyze, you know, great football, but also ex Martinsburg football players as well. So um, tell us uh, what, what practice has been like this week. Are you guys locked in? Oh, yeah, I think uh, we had a great practice this week. I feel like everybody was locked in Monday through Friday. You know, uh, everybody showed up on time. Everybody was together at meetings. You know, uh, we were really locked in this week, focused, uh, because we know every week ahead is, you know, uh, win or go home. So, and we're not trying to be one of them teams. We're trying to get to that national championship. That's what our goal was from day one. So, Well, see, I think that's kind of become the standard for Shepard. Um, just like it was at Martinsburg, you know, the standard was we're playing for a championship every year. And that's where Shepard is now. They were really good when I was in school, you know, made that run to the national championship. And, uh, you know, you guys are doing something that uh, not a lot of people get to do. Um, and you're doing it against uh, better competition now with being in the PSAC. So um, that's something that is awesome to see. Um Back to, you know, staying focused, like you said, everybody's focused this week, but somebody like you being from this part of West Virginia, uh, you know, only growing up down the road about 15 minutes, uh, how do you stay focused, you know, with all the hometown distractions? Uh, You know, one thing about me is always uh, school first, you know, Uh, and I do a great job of uh, living on campus, you know, uh, just staying away from home. I, I stay away from the crowd, you know, uh, my friends, I don't really, I don't really hang out with them. My friends are the football team, you know, so yeah. uh, I, that's how I keep it. You know, uh, that keeps me out of trouble, keeps me staying on saying straight, doing what I'm supposed to do. And that kind of just like, uh, keeps me away from distractions at home, you know, uh, cause I only live 10 minutes away. So it's yeah. like, I could always go home and, mess with other friends that I grew up with and stuff like that. But keeping me on campus, like, uh, keeps me going, keeps me out of trouble, you know? Hey, man, that's that, hearing you say that is spoken like a true leader, man, because there are, I know, uh, you know, there's always hometown distractions, always are. So the fact that you're mature enough and humble enough to just say, hey, you know, right now I, I, I'm after the, the bigger prize. I, it's the bigger picture for me, you know? I'm not all about fun right now. I'm trying to, like you just talked about, go win a, uh, you know, a national championship. Um, but, hey, man, let's uh, – I saw that online they got you at 86 tackles on the year. Um, looks like your best game, 16 tackles against Cootstown, man. That That's huge right there. That's huge, man. Uh, but they got you with two interceptions. I, you've got more, right? Yeah, I got four. That's what I thought. I, I, I thought for sure you had more than two interceptions, man, but – uh, you know, that's something that you've always been good at. I mean, even as a nine-year-old kid for the Browns, I remember you just had a nose for the football. Um, and now you've taken that, you know, skill that you've had your whole life and you're adding all the little things, leverage, using your hands, you know, uh, just reading the play before it happens. And you can just tell that you have become an exceptional football player. Um and I, like I said, man, I, I love watching Tyson, but I love watching you get after it too on the defensive side of the ball. So uh, I'm excited for tomorrow, man. I don't know about you. You know, yeah. I, I got to I got I, I have to remain calm and call and call this game, you know, commentated. But uh, I, I'm super excited to see what you guys do uh, offensively and defensively, because there, it, it's a tall task. Hey, man, Slippery Rocks, uh, they're, they're going to be a competitive football team. So I, I'm really looking forward to it. and. You know, good luck to you. Uh, 
like I said before, proud of you, man. Congratulations on, you know, what you've accomplished so far. But sky's the limit because I know you're not done, man. I know it. Yes, sir, man. I appreciate it, Brandon. Always, man. It's always a pleasure. Always, man. Hey, well, get it done tomorrow. You know, be that leader. Like you said, lead on the field. But sometimes if you got to bark a little bit to, you know, get them hyped, you got to do it. So, um, but hey, man, like I said, good luck and do your thing tomorrow. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. Take care. All right, man. Yeah, I'll talk with you. Yes, sir. You too. All right.